everyone, here is Ariana from Floret, and today I'm going to show you how to repair a scratch in your sylvan resilient hardwood. Floret sylvan resilient hardwood is super durable and topped with a UV cured acrylic protective coating that helps prevent fading and protect the flooring from wear. Due to its high density core, Sylvan is also highly impact resistant and three times harder than normal hardwood. Despite all this built-in durability, we know that accidents can happen and you could potentially end up with a scratch on your floors. If you do get a scratch, don't worry, there are a couple ways that you can repair it. For light scratches, we recommend using a scratch concealer made for hardwood to buff the scratch out. The one I'm using here is called Wear Max Scratch Concealer for hardwood floors. For a more severe scratch, we recommend using a color match marker or wax crayon to fill in the scratch. Once dry, you can use the scratch concealer as seen in the first method. Now let's demo each of these methods. In addition to your scratch concealer, markers or crayons, you also need a piece of sanding paper and a soft cloth. For this demo, I'll use a sample of Balboa 7 inch, which is a beautiful neutral light flooring. And here I'm using sharp scissors to make the scratch, so be aware that these scratches might be a little more severe than what you typically get from regular use. Now I'll lightly sand over the scratch to even out the area that we're going to work on. So be careful here not to press too hard with the sandpaper as you don't want to remove the finish or add unnecessary wear around the scratch. Next, I will apply the concealer over the whole scratch. And finally, I'll use the soft cloth and rub it in circular motions until all the excess concealer is gone. For the next demo, I'll use a sample of Anza 7 inch, a relaxing and warm mid-tone brown flooring. Again, I'll use the scissors to make the scratch, and this time I'll make the scratch even more severe than last time. And then again, I'll lightly sand over the scratch. In this case, I'm initially using a crayon to fill in the scratch. First, you want to make sure you select the right color to match your floor. Here I found one that is pretty close to Anza. So I'll go ahead and color over the entire scratch. Now I'll use a cleaning wipe to wipe out the excess from the crayon. Then I'll have to wait a couple minutes until it all dries out. After this is done, I'll apply the scratch concealer again over the whole scratch and wipe it out with a soft cloth in circular motions, just like the previous demo. Alright, and our repairs are complete. Now you want to make sure to keep those areas dry and let the concealer to cure for about 4 hours, then you're good to go. If you have a very deep gauge and those methods do not work for you, you can always replace that plank for a new one. And we'll show you how to do that in another video. Remember to subscribe and turn on your alerts for more helpful tips like this. And please feel free to reach out to our team at floret.com if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.